Welcome back, guys. Hey, oh. Hi, guys. Oh, uh, we're getting near our next we state. We are on Interstate 95 heading north. Here we go. To New York City. We are still Here in we Maryland. Go. We had a nice rest break, guys. If you're if you missed our last live streams, basically what we've been doing since yesterday morning at 9:45 in the morning is we're on a road trip, guys. We are driving from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to New York City in a rental car. And we are now on day two of our journey, currently in the state of Maryland. Yep, yes, guys, Maryland. And we're going to be, uh, sorry for the, the incline here, but we're, we're on an incline. Uh, we're in the state of Maryland. Um, I'm gonna fix the gimbal as straighten us out as soon as possible. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Straightening us out. Welcome aboard, everybody. Uh, Auto focus on. Auto focus is on, and uh, let's see. Efren Gimbalist Jr. We're still pretty. Let me see if I can straighten this out one more time. Peter Coyote in the chat. Vincent Badulas is is here as always. Excellent, Vincent. Vincent. Nice job, right here. Yeah, so this is pretty, I mean. We're getting ready to cross into Delaware. Right, we're getting ready to cross into Delaware. I think that's fairly straight. Oh, we're part five, yeah, I, I, did I did I not change that? Okay, I'll, I'll have to amend the uh, title to part um, one, two, three, five. Yes, five. Did I, did I not, did I not type that correctly? Okay, I will fix that, hold on, uh, let's see. Let me um let me fix that now. Amy Jo um Hey Amy Jo is checking Welcome in. Welcome aboard guys. Happy Friday. Wherever you're at. Hope it's going well. You notice it's got a little more cloudy out here. Yep, cloudy. We're on the approach our next state. Yeah. Our next state, which is the shortly. state. We'll be crossing in shortly at a border crossing. Hold on, I gotta refresh this. Michelle Norton is back. Thanks, Michelle, for joining. It really, um, it really is very curvy worthy today. with me guys as uh, I try to straighten this out as best I can. Delaware State Line, three miles. Three miles. Get ready guys, get pumped up. Yeah, that's as straight as it's going to be right now. It's just the way the road is, yeah. I think right now the straight as it's going to be. Right now. Okay, let me get this into a, the playlist. Oh yeah, that's straightened out pretty well now. Uh, Nick Johnson, Amy Jo saying maneuvering through traffic. You're making good time, extra good. And uh, Lisa Hopper's in the chat. Thank you, Lisa, hey, Lisa Hopper. We are on, on an adventure. Do I have water, huh? No, but I'm good. Thank you, though, James. Thank you. On an adventure. Let me see if I can update the, this should be one, two, three, four, five, part five. So let me see if I can update, if I did write that correctly. We're gonna change the title. I'm just doing that editing now. I'm using the secondary phone for that. Not part six, I messed up, part five. Right, this is part five. So we did three yesterday, three yesterday one and today. only one. Today. That's our second one today. Right, so that's part five. Okay, part five. Yep. So maybe I rest messed up earlier this but who knows? Anyway, we'll we'll sort it out. And sort it. uh hit save. Save. Done. Alan Levy said you're two hours and fifty minutes to three three three. Ah, nice. We know what that I'll means. Take that. Thank you, Alan. 
Alan, yeah. Alan, do you have any traffic um, recommendations uh, right now for yeah, us? Yeah, what we're in for. Let's see, did I not write? Oh yeah, I wrote it correctly, par four, yeah, so. Yeah. We're all good, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it correct, I, I, for, for some reason I skipped a number um, earlier. One, two, three, four, yeah, all, all good. Extra good, right James? Yeah. Show more. Uh, let's see. Add tag. Road trip. Driving. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to be coming back into the chat clubhouse. Yep. We're getting there, guys. Another toll coming up. Delaware. Delaware. Where Welcome Del to Delaware. Welcome to Delaware. Guys. We got the, we got the welcoming sign. We just did a border crossing. Okay. So what state is that, James? Delaware. So Florida, one. Georgia, two. South Carolina, three. North Carolina, four. Virginia, five. Maryland, six. Delaware, seven. Extra good. Fantastic job, guys. You can, you can sit back down now. Get comfortable again. We crossed our border. Right on. Get your bowl of snacks. You know, I hope you got it all freshened up. Tie an old bathrobe tie around your waist and tie it to the chair. It'll feel like a seatbelt in the back seat. Right. You can do that. And off we go. Cloudy, which is good. You know, not bright sun. It's not too hard on the eyes. Okay. I switched from sunglasses to driving glasses, my distance fit prescription, and I'm getting pumped up. Hudson's pumped up. You had a nice walk. Got to get a good sniff in. Yes, we did have a good sniff, right? Yep. The state of the grass where we walked was atrocious. Yeah. But Hudson picked his way through and he made his way through. Snackable in hand. So guys, join us in the back seat with Snackables. Hudson. Oh, our Jason, our Jason Morris, our break was perfect. Hudson, I'm gonna show you Hudson. He's already sacked back in. Sacked back in in the back seat with his nose pointing at the cooler. Yeah, he knows he's getting home. He's like, I am checking the cooler, checking its contents. Yep. So when your press says, "Yay, we made it to Delaware!" Yee! Yeah, we're getting. Amy Joe barks happily at Carla. Arf arf. Nice. Michelle Norton says, "I'm in the back seat." Yep. And Zipadula says, feels like I'm driving with James. Nice. And put up a lot of, uh, I'm on the couch relaxing and put up a whole bunch of Hudson emojis. Yeah, emoji game is strong. JD here is checking in from Kimberly, British Columbia. Extra nice. good. Edward Kimberly. Amy Jo is listening to You're So Vain. You're So Vain. Yeah, clouds Ivan, in your coffee. Ivan Hernandez is checking in. Joseph Giangrande says, hello from Joe the Grower and downpouring poke quag trying to bring back the sunshine thank you not patch on no i don't think so <laughs> jason morris says hudson keeps us warm in the back seat guys alan Levy says use the ways to t and take the holland tunnel yeah we'll check in on ways as we get yeah, uh, earlier but you know we usually always usually do the holland tunnel it usually works out best carl c just finished lunch now it's time to relax a little and watch some of part five. Really enjoying your trip and chat. Oh, nice. thank you. Carol says, back on the road again. Hey, Carol. MN says, hello. And Jody Grubbs just sent us $10 saying, oh, hi, Jody James, Grubbs. Carla, and the very best Hudson. I love you all's road trip and back to my favorite city, New York City. God bless you three. Cute Hudson's relaxing. Let me give you a little shout out. Fantastic job, Jody. Thank you so much, Jody. Look at Hudson in the back seat. He's I don't know if you out. can see his little face back there. There he is. And thank you, Jody. Extra, extra, extra good. Guys, look at those clouds. The clouds are increasing. Yeah, they're building. They're building. I mean, they're pretty. They look like layers upon layers of clouds. Yeah. It's almost like a patchwork quilt of yeah, clouds. A meal full. Right, guys? Yes, like the pastry. Yeah. 
meal food. See, James knows a little thing or two. Like the pastry, like your layered pastry. You have a pastry, a pastry uh, cloud formation. Yeah. Jack about says, "Hey, James, I had to run to get back in the car." Yeah, Jack. We waited Lisa for Lisa UK girls. Hey guys, just joining you after finishing work. Thank you, Lisa UK girls. Stuart Bryce says, say, hi, says hi, James, Carla, and King Hudson. Guys, we just crossed into Delaware. If so you yeah, aware. it's also in the back seat with Hudson. Everybody's yeah, guys, we uh, this is what we've done. This is what we've accomplished I so far. I already read it out, but do it again. Guys, if if you've joined, if you're just joining us, JD here's shouting out to Puff Pastry. Yesterday, we left Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We started live streaming at 9.45 a.m. State 1, Florida. Boom. State 2, Georgia. What's going on with this dude? Just, oh you know, in God. your blind spot. Yeah, look at this guy. Weeping. Yeah. Another Audi. Another Audi has cut yeah. us off. And they say BMW's bad. There's a, that was a second Audi driver. It's a different Audi. So State 2 was Georgia. State 3, South Carolina. Yeah. State 4, North Carolina. State 5, Virginia. State 6, Maryland. We're currently in State 7, Delaware. Yeah. And Delaware is a short state, so before you know it, we'll be in, in uh, you from New Jersey. Jersey. Lady. When you get home, get in touch with me and work at our dinner tonight. Oh, thank you, Alan Levy. Alan Levy, fantastic job. Vincent Vidula is laughing. Uh, Lady. Laura Eleven saying enjoying the ride, guy. Mark is back in the chat. Hey, what Mark. did we eat for lunch, Mark? We had peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. We had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It did a job. I got a little pep in my step. Yep. A little bump in the trunk. Vincent Vidula loves when I say Audi. Did I say on Audi again? Audi. Audi. An yeah. Audi. Not an Audi. No. An Audi. Uma Oprah. I, um, Cheeky Chops is uh, saying I-95 KM. Yeah, we're still up here, Cheeky Chops. For a Irma Westerbeck says, straight time safe. I go, I go to sleep. I wake up uh, too early tomorrow. Oh, you got to go to sleep? No problem. Jack Rapp says, those Audis are naughty. Yeah, you naughty get it? Audis. A naughty Audi. A yeah. naughty Audi. Audi. That's my New York accent. It's very Audi. Naughty. Picard 2005 is uh, waving his hand. Nice. Welcome aboard. A lot of bright work on that Silverado. Vincent Padula says, all this pizza talk, and now I want to buy a pizza. Nice. <laughs> There's the Bronco Sport. Join Hudson in, on his pizza blanket in the back seat. Yep. So, guys, now it's just all about, you know, patience and grinding it out. Yeah, guys. I know that um, Mark uh, suggested yesterday that we do a little contest of like who can come closest to a, a figuring out what our arrival time will be in New York City. Yep. Mark initially um, suggested 6 p.m. Right now it's 2:17 p.m. Uh, you know we'll see. We've got a ways. Anything can happen. You don't know. You know, like the the unknown is like the traffic on in Jersey. That's the variable. Right. Wow, look at that stubby little dump truck, buddy. Look at how stubby and small that is. It's funny. Oh, yeah, that is. It's a short stack. Yeah, short stack. I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a baller. Magenta Moon says, good evening, James and Carla from Lacey in Hampton, Peterborough, England. Oh, nice. we have uh, we have another person in the chat. I don't I don't think she's watching right now. But we have, uh, do you know oh, Joe, Bur Joe Burgess? Joe Burgess. Joe Burgess from Peterborough um, in the UK. Yeah. Um, Joe Burgess and her family watch our channel, and we've met the whole family, and we're going to meet them again now. I'm going to meet them. Um, Joe Burgess's husband is coming nice. to New York this time. Talk Cosworth. We've met, met Joe and her, her, um, her wonderful mom and her daughter. Talk to Cosworth. Anne Marie loves to sew, checking in. Carla, what can I do to start getting alerts again? I have the bell set for everything. Anne Marie uh, loves to sew. Um, so, you know, I know that YouTube gives you a notification only three times a day do you get from a channel. 
So this is our second live stream of the day. So you should uh, get a notification from YouTube. Now, if you don't, um, we normally send give advanced notification for all our Patreon and YouTube members. But when we're live streaming on the road and like, we take a break for a little while. Unless we take an extended break, I don't put when we're starting again. And what I did is I, I told everyone on the last live stream that we'll be starting it again around 2 p.m. And I kept our word, and that's exactly when we started. I think we started at 2.01 or 2.02 or whatever it was. It was very close to our estimated time. But one of the perks of, of being a member of either Patreon or YouTube is generally you get advanced notification of... Um, of live streams and and also uh, videos as well that we're going to be posting you know yeah. recorded videos however um, you know we're not telling everybody they have to become a member uh, just make sure your notification bell is wrong and I, I I don't know sometimes YouTube drops the ball and they don't send out the notifications yeah Make sure you subscribe. We've had people who said they've been unsubscribed. Yeah, just make sure you still subscribe. I mean, you can check on, on that. And other than that, you, you can complain to YouTube, you know, if, if you so desire and ask, you know, well, I haven't been getting a notification from my favorite channel. Uh, why is that? Hey, there's a Alfa Romeo Quattrofolio. The performance one, huh? Oh, awesome. We're going Delaware Memorial Bridge, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there is a way that you could take a non-toll way, <laughs> yep, um, and avoid the tolls. But we that we want to go the faster way, yep. And the faster way is to go to the New Jersey Turnpike. So we're gonna pay the toll. Remember last time we uh, did a we did a little diversion and we got on a yeah. little bit later. A little loop to loop, yeah. Remember, and then oh, we yeah. got on like a little further north and avoided oh, yeah. part of the toll. Yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah, I do. I do. But I don't think we have to do that. We did that because there was traffic. Yeah, we'll see. Last time, remember? Yeah. We're going to try to sneak in. Sneak into the city without too much hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. Yo, Billy Baroo. Right. I think we still went through the bridge, but then after the bridge, we went to the left. I forget what we did. I don't. I really don't recall. Uh, I think after the bridge, right? Amy Joe says YouTube has been acting a little bit strange and causing mayhem. Yeah. C A K eight one three says I've resumed my place in the back seat. Scooch over. Yes. Yeah, scooch scooch over. over says to, to, she says to Hudson. Yeah. Oh, Natasha's in the chat saying hello to uh, James Carlin Hudson, Sweet Boy Hudson. Joseph Taylor is back. Thank you, hey, Joseph Joe. Taylor. Joseph Taylor in the house. Out oh, Nick, Nick G is in the chat. Nick hey, G. Nick G, did you ever tell him what car we got? I don't think Nick G's been in here. Nick G, we are driving a Hyundai. Tucson. A Tucson, which is... 2023. 2023. Um, we've been getting around, I mean, Sweet. I think around, the last time we checked our check trip odometer thing thingy info thing media thingy thingy yeah. uh we were getting around 20 34 gallon miles to a gallon which is uh decent very decent decent oh brendan nelson says don't forget to wave at exit 11 because that's the hobby shop exit nice kate summer says wow wellington virginia you may be uh, close to Newark and Delaware. Yes, we're gonna, we're in Delaware already. Extra good. Yep, we're going to be crossing. The yes, Del Teresa Hall. We are in the Eastern Time Zone. Yes. Yep, we're going to be crossing a big old bridge. Carl C is still standing by his guests from yesterday and predict arrival at seven eighteen p.m. Oh, oh God. he's going for the later arrival. Yeah, hey, you know it's it's a possibility. Lisa U. Carol K. Girl says, I think it's a problem with YouTube as I've been having hardly any notifications since yesterday and with other channels as well. So LD Original, we are going to be crossing the Delaware Memorial Bridge from Delaware into New Jersey. And that will be, what, our eighth state then? Yeah. Yeah. Caution, slippery roadway. That's odd because it looks very dry. Yeah, it's maybe uh, construction oil or something. I don't know. So Nick Chi says, what's the thoughts on the Tucson? 
Um, James is uh, saying, you know, he's not having any issues with the Tucson. Performance is fine. Nick Performance G, for is what fine. It's got it a nice, do. it's got a nice big back seat for Sweet Boy Hudson. Slight busy steering, if you know what I mean, Nick G. But um, I mean that's expected. And a nice lot, lots of leg room for Carla and James for their long legs. The only issue I the have aren't that is my seat is not very comfortable. Well, mine's not either. I keep fiddling with it. The passenger, and I don't have any. I don't. It's manual seat adjustments, and I can't ever seem to get it perfect. I have an electric so, seat, so la I can yes, adjust it. Yesterday, I mean, granted, I was, you know, we live streamed for 12 hours yesterday, and we were sitting in the car for even longer than that. Um, you know, my back started hurting. Um, other than that, we really don't have an issue with the car. It's been um, handling it's well, great. and we drove through the pouring rain. Yeah, it did great. <clears> the <throat> rain, it's done everything perfectly. It's a great car, truck, SUV, whatever you call it. So here we are. I'm more of a sedan guy, but hey. James, remember, keep your speed. Yep. Don't speed. Don't speed on this bridge. Yeah, so watch your speed. Yep. Loomis. I knew somebody went to school. I think it's 55 or something like that. Yeah. Up we go. Big bridge, guys. So just... uh. Shit's coming down the other side. Jack Rapp says, I've been knocked off YouTube several times and I just re have to resubscribe. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's weird, Jack. Oh, Nick G is saying, sometimes they don't put lumbar support in the passenger seat and that's an area they can save on cost. Yeah, so I would definitely say there was zero lumbar support in my passenger seat. So you might have it in your seat, but yep. I don't have it in mine. Yep. About 34 to the gallon, I'd say. It's only an SL model, so no options. It's the cheapest model with limited. Yeah, exactly. That Got it. Yep, Vincent. Big bridge. Oh, yeah. Wow. Kate Summers, I guess you heard about the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Yes, we did. Yep. But luckily, uh, that did not affect us. Uh, we, we are sorry that um, about that tragedy and the lives lost. Luckily, that did not affect us traffic-wise for this trip. I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a little... Remember that song? I do. This is a tall bridge. Pookie Six says, I've had trouble getting notifications for the channels I follow too, which isn't many. I'm still subscribed, so that's not the issue. Yeah. Connie Jackson says, hello, where are you at? We're crossing the Delaware Memorial Bridge into the state of New Jersey. Yeah, remember we did the other time take a little different road. Yep. Could it be more cell phone towers? Jack Rapp is saying, would you prefer the Tucson or the Camry? The Camry. Camry. The Camry was way more comfortable that we uh, I like a had. sedan, uh, Jack. I like yeah. the car. That's just how I am. I thought the Camry was dynamite. Yeah, we really enjoyed uh, our, our, our rental of when they gave us a Camry. Not a, not a single Camry. But that, that Camry is also the car that we got the flat tires. So that's the yep. one thing that we did not enjoy. Yep. <laughs> was getting that flat tire. Oh, you would uh, like that? Yeah. yeah. Brenda says 117 miles to the East Village. New York City, two hours, 20 minutes is the ETA. Yeah, well, we'll see. Um, Nick G's asking, what's the first thing we eat in New York City? Is it a Kanish? No, not tonight. Uh, Kanish is tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow or, you know, like, Kanish is this, probably this week, but I, I'm not, that's... Tonight might, I don't know. Tonight, we'll figure it out. Just depends how late we get back. Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe even Veselka. Yeah. Veselka, maybe we yeah. uh, we support a, a small independent, um, yeah. you know, Ukrainian uh, comfort diner. Yeah, oh, nice. Some Ukrainian comfort food. Yeah, with the Hudster. 
I like the XSE model Camry, the the TRD model, Vincent's um, oh, Dual Oh, yeah. of course. Yeah, the Toyota Racing Division for sure. Nick G is asking, do you think you could ever be swayed from my issue to a, a, a purchase an issue from the? Yeah. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, I guess it would depend. You know, look, look. Yeah. I I I don't know. Save it up to get gas here. Yeah. John, we might hit it where we have just as much they gave us. Because we have 429 to empty, so we have 280 something to empty. And they're saying it's like 120 miles, so. Oh. Might be uh, in good shape. Oh, there you go. And you'll have to sort that out probably with corporate. Vincent says, stop talking about food. I'm dieting here. <laughs> I can't yeah, take me it. too, Vincent. It's, you can tell we haven't eaten uh, New York food in a while. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They, 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 it's a yeah, complete so the, teardown. The whole service area. They're redoing the whole here thing. Here in the New Jersey Turnpike. Guys, if you're if you're planning a trip. Look at that. They're doing a whole were, rebuild. You were pinning your hopes on uh, stopping at the first uh, gas station in New Jersey to get cheaper gas. Uh, scratch that. Yeah. Scra a, scratch red that. Red China marker through that. Brenda saying, "Welcome to Joycey." Yes, yeah, you from Joycey? What I'm doing is I'm I'm rolling up James's lady. I'm, lady. I'm rolling up James's uh uh sweatshirt and I'm putting it up behind my back so I don't get the back pain again because it's starting to bother me already. Amy Jo says, "Welcome to the city of New Jersey." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Garden State. Oh, RJ Wertheimer says, Olaf from Colorado, just off of work. Wishing, hey, RJ. Wishing you safe travels back to the Big Apple. Thanks, RJ Wertheimer. We're in uh, Jersey now. You from Jersey? Ambrose Chamberpot says, keep talking. I, I've, I, I've met my dieting goals, LOL. Nice. Ambrose. Vincent Padula says, the gas is not cheap in New Jersey in some places. No. You know, guys, we did fill up while we were at this uh, the rest area in, um, in Maryland, and it was not cheap. In fact, the we were going to get a um, a, a, a like you know like a uh, carbonated water you know like a seltzer for James, and they wanted um, three dollars and forty nine cents for a can. Yeah, you gotta be kidding. And I said no. I just I just flat out refused to buy it. I was just like, forget it, James. Yeah. That is ridiculous. I think I'm some kind of rude. I mean. Even at the, I mean, I, uh, granted we haven't been in New York in a couple months, but I, I would pay six ninety nine for a twelve pack of seltzers. Yeah. Um, for you, so I refused to pay like three dollars and forty nine cents no, for well, one I mean, can. That's insane. Yeah. That's bananas. I'm like, that's like. Oh, is traffic stopping up there? One can. I hope not. thirsty. Yeah, yeah, for a one can? Yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Ros White says, I live in New Jersey. There's a lot of misinformation about the state. Yeah, there is. Kate Summer says, my uncle Richard bought Bob uh, Guido Four Season Music Group, Oriental Wow, nice. in Top of New Jersey. Oh, extra nice. good. That sounds great. Rosalind Brown says, there's a fight now in the backseat about who gets to sit next to Hudson. Yeah. Yeah, stop bickering. I'll Guys, pull this car over. Why are we why are we going at a standstill? Because we could have taken our detour, avoided the toll. Yeah, no, we're doing good. I think it's just uh, you know. There's a Connecticut fleet. I recognize that. Two of them. Chody Grub says, I really enjoyed your Carl and James eating at I think it was the family owned restaurant in Brooklyn back in January. Um the night before you went to see, see Madonna. Oh, and yes, Junior. that was Junior's cheese. That was Junior's. That's famous for its cheesecake. Yes, that's family-owned Junior's, uh, the famous Junior's, on uh, Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn before we went to the Barclays Center. That was uh, in December. Yeah, that was fantastic. Madonna show. 
Yeah, Jody, they made a great. That was a sirloin burger, they called it. Uh, it was really good, the hamburger. Know what doing. They know and what the doing. steak fries were really good. Like, uh, they weren't greasy. They were perfect. Yeah, just nice. I would definitely go there again. A nice, nice, nice time. Oh, see, there's a school bus broken down up here. That's what's going on. Oh. Steven Jackowitz says Hart and ZZ Top are going to be performing in Madison Square Garden. Very oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, I, I agree because I, I never had any back pain in any of the other rent, rental cars and certainly not our own car. And um, I, I really never, I, I mean, that's not something I get. See, look, there's a school bus that's limping along Yeah. in the right lane causing all this trouble. Yeah, so it must be uh, having a engine problems. Yeah, look. It's going like, you know, 15 miles an hour. Yeah, I didn't know they were, uh, they were supposed to be out here. Well, it was empty school bus. Yeah. Yeah, Lisa UK girl remembers that green. Oh. Hold on. We're waiting for service to get back. Yeah, I kind of remember that about here. So, guys, yes, um... comfort yeah you know what can you do mark says carly the only state where you can't pump your um your own gas is new jersey you they have to pump it for you that's true and again a little uh little internet no zone no. we're in rural new jersey anything can happen yep the deep south of new jersey yeah, there you go. James gets. Oh, Mighty Bull has another little uh, riddle for us. Boop, boop, boop. Why did the Mighty Bull build an underground bunker? Okay. Because he wanted to beef up his security. Nice. Ba -dum -ba. Boom, boom, boom. Mighty, Mighty Bull's in, in the room. room. Nice job. Kate Summers used to spend the summers at Bradley Beach in Jersey. Oh, that's nice. Nice. Oh, look, look. They got it someone. Someone got pulled over. This is exit two. Remember, we're looking for exit 11 to yep. wave to Brenda. Brenda's going to pitch slices of pizza down to Hudson. Yeah. Brenda, do you have a you have a, a, a pizza from box? Flinging pizzas down to Hudson. Yeah, from, that you're going to fling at Hudson. Yeah, from the overpass. Wow, look at those clouds, guys. Victor C. says says the Camden Aquarium. We've never been to the aquarium in Camden. I didn't know that Camden had an aquarium. I know that Camden has a lot of problems, you know, as a city. Oh, sure, yeah. You know, it's been that way for a while. Yeah. Paul McDonough's in a bar. He says he might start stripping because he needs the money. Nice, Paul. Do it tastefully, Paul. As long as it's tasteful. Stephen Jackowitz says uh, Ocean City and uh, uh, Ocean Grove and Asbury Park are very nice. Yes, we've been to I've Asbury been to Park. Asbury Park, sure. I went to Federici's Pizza. Oh, Damon Dunn used to spend many summers in Wildwood. Yeah, Wildwood's a great place that has a lot of uh, old neon signs and a lot of retro, like, mom and pop kind of things. And uh, we would uh, love to document that. Um, We've never been there. New Jersey, guys. You think the drive is almost done, but it's not. Brendan Nelson just put up pizza emojis and dog emojis. Arms. Yep. Internet. Hey, my man. Ambrose Chamberpot likes the tram car in Wildwood. Hey, oh. look at that. Look at that grill. Oh, it's uh... Festive. Yeah. On that truck, the light pattern. Oh, I think the Quattrofolio is coming up again on our left. Oh, See, it has that little decal. 
that means it's the performance model. See that? That yeah. little quattrofolio? I see that with the little... Um, but that looks odd. No, it's not. Shamrock? It's not. The, it's the not sticker was crooked, man. and it's not dual-dual exhaust. So it's not so, performance I was all. duped at first, but no longer. That is not a true quattrofolio. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Friday afternoon, New Jersey. This is it. Mo, Mo Wangazi, Sharifa says hello, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Mo, Mo Wangazi. Thanks for that. Happy Friday. What's behind the trees? Oh, uh, there's farms. Farms, basically. Oh, look, another state trooper coming, see? No, Robert Parker, uh, we've never considered bypassing the tunnel traffic by look. taking Staten Island route to Brooklyn and then Manhattan. Because oh, that's, take that would take day. way, way, way too long. And there's just too many traffic snarls of, of uh, the BQE and like, oh, no. What a difference a day makes. No, that, that would be a disaster. 24 I, little hours. There would be, I would, I would never choose that as an option. You know, we had to, cut, we, we worked, we did some work on Staten Island. And it literally took us forever to get home with time. Yeah. Literally forever. I don't think I would ever choose that as an option. We spent a, a month one night on the BQE. And remember, the toll to get to New York from Staten Island, that toll on the bridge, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. $170. Is, no, no, no. No, to cross it. It's I really know. expensive. So, yeah. no, no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. A lot of variables in that. Not, not a good uh, pick. Oh, hey, Danette. Danette's saying hi. Hey, Danette, we're in New Jersey. You from Jersey? Vincent said he hasn't taken a vacation in a while. You know, Vincent, you know, we understand because we, we technically really haven't, you know, taken vacations like, you know, like really for more than a few days or something like that. Um, for a little bit. Because of Hudson. Uh, a lot of times, you know, with, with, with Hudson as well, so... Um, Our trips have to center around Hudson. Right. There's a new 435. And Chamber Pot says the MTA now wants its whole New York City marathon is crossing the Farazano. Yeah. Oh, my God. Hey. Strap Jack Rab says, I made that mistake once going through Staten Island and it turned out to be a disaster. Yeah, that's yeah. what I, I said that I, I didn't you even... You still be out there, Jack. I didn't even consider it. I'm like, no. You no. gotta bring provisions for There's that just trip. too many things. And like then you have to cross not only the Verrazano Bridge, you need but a good, then no, first you have to cross the bridge to get you to need Staten a good Island. Provisioner. Like the outer bridge crossing. And then you have to get from Staten Island to Brooklyn. And then you have to cross another bridge, Brooklyn to Man Manhattan. And that just wait too And then no, head up the FDR on that Friday just night. way too many. Danette says, we're all rooting for you, James Carlin Hudson, home before dark. Oh, oh yeah, we're just taking a stab at it. Yeah, Vincent says, you know, he runs his own business. He works alone, so he can't really take a vacation, you know, yeah. because people are relying on him. Yeah, for We sure. understand. We know how that feels. We totally understand. Stevens like, oh, the wide lanes, the pothole episodes, Seinfeld, the humanity. Yeah. <laughs> that had a hurt. That got a hurt. James, don't forget to root, look for um, yeah, exit 11. 11. <laughs> that had to hurt. That got a hurt. George Costanza, guys. Look at that. There's a uh, Tesla. He's hey, Nick G, do you see that Tesla with the black, with yeah, the red markings? Yeah, high performance. Is that a high performance HPS one? HPS Nick Tesla? G, do you see that up the up ahead? There's a Tesla with uh, a HPS black one. A, a fake diffuser on the bottom and the back. Yeah. Nick G, let us know the, 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 the deets on that. On that special special Tesla that we just saw. Wheels on all four corners. I mean engines, right? Motors. 
Four wheel model. They sold James the three wheel model, and you know. Damien's. Internet no zone. Nice. 24 little hours. Yeah, guys, you know what it is, is when we're in parts of Jersey, you know, they're somewhat rural, the uh, internet can be spotty, but, you know, we drive uh, uh, and we uh, get into a better area quickly. Yeah. So just always, just stay with us, refresh your feed, all is good. Don't worry, we'll be through this section keep of South calm, Jersey soon. Keep calm and stay collected. There'll be more to look at. There's a lot of uh, tree, uh, there's leaves already on some of the trees, like they're all like budding. Yeah. Do you see that, James? I, that's what I said, the pollen's gonna start. Yeah. It's gonna start making my life, you know, tough. Nothing new though. Yep, James is adhering to the speed limit. He's driving safely. Yeah, no, we'll get there. Jeanette, we're in New Jersey already. New Jersey. You from Jersey? Jeanette, we're on the New Jersey Turnpike. We're in South Jersey because we just got crossed the Delaware Memorial um, Bridge Turnpike. not too long ago. The driving current, uh, it's 65 nine. mile an hour speed limit, James. Beneath the refinery glow. Up where the great black rivers flow. License registration, I ain't got none. But I got a clear conscience about the things that I've done. Serenity now, Hoochie Mama, Jack Rapson. Yeah, Hoochie Mama. Okay, so this is exit Serenity three. Serenity now. James, this is exit three. What is that, like a little chicken? Exit three. Joycey. Joycey, says Damon Dunn. Yeah. What's that, like a little chicken? The Cornish hen? It's a game bird. Oh, like you hunt it? GC322 says you're on the home stretch. You got it. Yeah, you know. We, don't, we got a lot of green in between still. Tim West says, I bet Hudson Boy will be glad to, to get his home. He's, he's pooped out. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he so likes his. He likes his routine, so... So do I. He'll be so happy to get back to the apartment and plop on his bed. Yeah, right next to us on the couch. Mr. Stanley. As and boy said, will you be home in two hours? Um, Ideally. That would be great. I don't paper, know. On paper, we will. Yeah. Saying back again, where are you now? We are in South Jersey. The Mile state marker 26.5. We are in the state of New Jersey. We've uh, gone 26 and a half miles already in New Jersey. Yeah, you know, inch by inch. David Dunn says you all making great time. Did we stop um, for a snack? Yes, we did. We stopped and we walked Hudson and, and we filled the car up with gas, which we probably didn't even really had to. Now we might. Um, you know, we could have probably waited till Jersey where it would be cheaper, but, um, you know, we just figured why not. Danette says, good job, guys. It's tiring to sit for that long. Yeah. Well, really good. Good job for James for uh, driving this whole distance. Yeah, I need some Molly McButter. Butter buds. Mrs. Dash. Adobo. Manchance says, are we <laughs> there yet? Jack Rapp says, Hudson will shake the sand from his paws and hit the New York bricks. You got it. Yeah, you got it. He'll put on his, uh, you know, 
I hope you start jive talking. Mark, I've been reading your comments. What do you mean? Mark, what are you doing? Why won't you cook it with Mark? I do my best. I can't read every single comment because, you know, um, you know, I have to pay attention to the road for James, too. Why is that, Nick G? With the t oh, in the Porsche? Want the sound in there? That probably grew loud, right? Right behind his ears. I remember when we had the convertible. Forget it. Mark, it's really difficult for me to scroll back in the comments uh, because it's, uh, you know, it's it's a little, it's tough to do that while I'm, you know, I try to keep my eye on the road for James too. Mr. Stage. I saw that you said I didn't read your comments, but I don't know what the old comment is. Please don't I'm trying stop to find me. it. Oh, about saying Joycey, not Jersey? Oh, that's Joycey. just... <laughs> New Jersey. Sorry, Mark. Manshan says, everyone wants their comments acknowledged. We need recognition. We're all, we're children. Mr. Stay True. I think everyone has a child inside them, no matter yeah. what their age. Isn't that right? Yeah. Think of Mr. Hudson. Think of, can you believe, guys, that Hudson is 12 years old, but he acts like a puppy. He acts like a child. He does. He, he's got a lot of puppy he behavior. He has a lot of youthful vigor. Yes, Mark, got it. James, it's Jersey, not Joycey. Thanks, Mark. It's a joke. Noted. Oh, I get it. I get it. I got it. I see. I was just, I always think of Jerry Lewis. I don't know why. I always, always think of Jerry Lewis, who was, uh, who was uh, you know. I'm so sorry to hear that your passenger seat is not that comfortable. It's all right. I, I got the um, what I I took our chat suggestion and I balled up um, I rolled up James's sweatshirt. That was I had in the in the trunk of the car. Well, not the trunk. It's really just yeah. You also used it back. under your pillow. And I, I, yeah, I also used it onto the flimsy My pillow. My sweatshirt, yeah. Yeah, that we had last night at the, uh, oh, look, we're behind the performance Tesla again. Oh, yeah, Nick G, what do you think? Nick G says, when I did, when I drove 12 hours, I passed through Austria, Germany, Luxembourg, and Belgium. But yeah. the U.S. is so vast, you're still in the same country after. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's the exact same. Well, we drove from the tropics, at least. Yeah. Oh, but First Coffee has never seen Hudson eat pizza. Oh, but First Coffee, oh, you, you should will. just look at our pizza playlist. I mean, I think we have a playlist of uh, uh, food tours, and you you can watch some Hudson's eating pizza. There's a bunch of them in there. Yeah, I've never seen that before. Sonia Perez says, I'm like a kid. I can't help it. It's true. Oh, uh... Nick G wants you to get closer to this Tessa if you can. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Nick G, this is as close as we can get without being a tailgater. Yeah, I'm zoom gonna in. zoom. What does that say? H or I C S? I don't know what it says. Yeah, what are those in Nick? Yes. Interirritable bowel syndrome? Wait, here we go. Wait, is it irritable Let bowel me come up syndrome? On this side. I'm gonna come up on this IPS? side. IPS? No, HPS. 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 Yeah. HPS. HPS. H, that's what I thought it said. High performance. I, I like the IPS. I have a little Powell syndrome. No, HPS is that Jeez. high performance. I know, but I that's, know. come on. I know. Jack Mapp says Hudson does not eat pizza. He inhales it. He does. Discover the Magic says it's a beautiful, clear, and sunny, and warm day swift. in Florida. Extra good. Oh, yeah, we missed that. Nice tropical vibes. James had to leave his grass skirt down there. Oh, wait, no one hears you. Yeah, no, that's good. In a way. Right now, I mean, right. I'm 
trans, uh, we're, uh, internet, I'm not allowed to say that anymore. Internet no zone is, is, is in the clear. We're back now. Okay. Nick G said that's an early, uh, an earlier model. It's uh, three with a plaid badge. Oh, wow. It's an early model three. Wow. Hey, Dennis Reynolds is checking in. Wow, look at that lift kit on that truck there. Oh, were the brake calipers red? Did you see that? Did you notice? I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Um, it was I going was pretty to fast. I was trying to spot at the, uh, any other livery on it. Where is it? Behind us? Yeah. Look, Red Me starting at twenty nine dollars. We can set up a table in the back and just uh, you know. Red Me starting at twenty nine dollars. Put that's our bed very, back there. And that's very good. Put a bed in there and you're done. But first coffee is asking James, you wear a grass skirt. <laughs> yeah. See, they 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 heard that. Yeah. They heard that. Yeah, in Florida, sometimes I get in the mood. I get caught up in the tropical vibes. I put on my Chardonnay. North and south to Key Largo. And I we crossed off over the Delaware Bridge. We are in New Jersey. Brendan Mike. Nelson says the child ego is called the id. The id. The id, and then there's the uh, ego super, and super, super ego. id, right? No, id, ego, ego and, and super, super ego. ego. Gotcha. By, uh, that's, uh, what's his name? Uh, Freud? Freud, right. Sigmund. Sigmund Freud. The J. Fenimore Cooper service area. Hey, fair enough, right? Brendan Nelson said we're in the boonies. Brenda, are we near Colts Neck? Or is that up farther? That's like horse country, right? Springsteen. Rumson. Somebody from Rumson. says, yeah, Colts Neck is inland, horse country, yup. Dennis says, what do you guys miss most about New York City? Um, Dennis, I would have to say, um, you know, all the little mom and pop shops and yeah, walking, just walking, around. walking around the neighborhoods, being able to walk out our front door. You know, just uh, something going on all the time. Yeah, just you know, like being just walk to the park, walk to the yeah, store. Yeah, hey, look at that. What's going on over there? That kind of stuff. And just you know, there's always something you know, just engaging. Yeah, see gas 343 here. Yeah. So not that big a difference. No. Internet no zone. Sorry about the internet back window. He knows something's up. He's starting to smell it. Look, show Hudson. Guys, Hudson is awake. Hudson's aware that we're getting there. Hi, Hudson. Hudson's looking out the back window. I think he realizes we're in New Jersey. Hi, Hudson. There's Hudson. What do you think, Hudson? One of the big yawns. Oh. Oh. How cute was that, guys? How cute was that? Hey, oh, look, Kathleen says, sorry if you've already covered this, but what's the first thing you're going to eat when you're back in the city? Uh, you know what?
it really depends on what time we get back to New York City. And return the car, get everything up to our apartment. Yeah. Return the car. We're thinking maybe we get um, Veselka, uh, you know, as a nice little, uh, you know, return to the city meal. Yeah, for it to go. I'm just kidding, get it here. See if they'll deliver down here. I'm hungry now. Autonomy, autonomy misses the view out our window. Yeah, that's what we miss also. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, of course. It's, uh, we find it very relaxing. It's the whole reason we chose our apartment. And we'll just pop on and show you guys different weather. Yeah, the whole reason we chose the apartment, you know, it wasn't for its extraordinary size because it's, you know, it's, it's a decent size for a studio in New York City by Manhattan standards, you know, for a Manhattan apartment. Right. It's certainly a lot smaller. But it doesn't have really any amenities, the building itself, um, you know, if you call, you know, it's, well, it has a laundry room, I guess that would be an amenity. Yeah, that is. Because some, some buildings, you know, that are small don't have a laundry room. You have to bring your, your laundry to the laundromat, you know, a la Jerry. You know, that's the thing that, you know, I never understood about Jerry because he supposedly lived in a large building, yet, yet the building... You know, large enough that like people didn't know who we, they each other were, and had yeah. to put put their pictures up with their names. Yeah. And he had this whole row of but mailboxes, they but they didn't have a laundry room in the building. To me, that was like it was just like you know he used bits and pieces for different things, but that would be typical in a walk-up. A, a small building would not, but a larger building like that like generally place, yeah. generally always would have a laundry room. Hey, look at all the school buses. See that, but um. We do, uh, the, the reason we, we got the apartment is that we, we like the view. We fell in love with it. Yep. Robert Parker says, it's funny how Hudson um, recognizes his home in New York. Texas Sickler says, we never see Jerry's bedroom. It's true. Yeah. Oh, except when um, he wakes up and Kramer's in his bed. Right. But, right. But that's, yeah, yeah, you're right. But they didn't really show the bedroom. They just, no, just splashed on him. Right. right. And then he was sleeping in Kramer's bed once for Mr. Marbles. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Mr. Marbles. Jason Morris says your apartment has the best uh, view of the city. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Jason. We'll be showing you that soon. Jack Rapp says for some reason I like the old railroad flats in New York. Yeah, we yeah. photographed a really uh, a really nice one that, that the girl you know like she did her best you know with the with the space and she made it. Um, yeah, she was from real Australia. Nice. Australia remember? Yeah. Yeah, Nick Mark. G, look at that, the the Lancer. Yeah, Mark, um, I mean, I honestly, I if I didn't even remember that there was an earthquake in New York City uh, back in whatever it was. I, I don't remember it. No. I, I think it was all very unremarkable for us. <laughs> yeah. We live in a big solid building made of concrete. Yeah. I don't know where we were at the time that it happened, but... I remember it, I heard a window rattle, and then later on people were talking about it. And I said, oh, maybe that was it. Yeah. I just thought it was a truck going by. Yeah down off, on the street, you know? Yeah. Going a little fast. Sonia says, bless you, Carla. And Robert Parker says, thank you. Oh, people are flying. Wow, some people go way above the speed limit. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Way above. Wow, there's a lot of uh, buds on the trees. See all these, like, red Whoa, buds? Oh, you feel that gust of wind? Yeah, I felt that gust of wind. It blew us to the right, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Was a big Guys, gust. there was a big gust of wind just now, and, it, and the car actually physically moved to the right. It moved. Yes. <laughs> it moved. Ivan Hernandez, yeah, the East Village of Manhattan. That's where James and I um, have our studio apartment in New York City. MG Mustang, yes, yeah, uh, same with him when he woke up to write a joke and when he failed to perform with Elaine. Oh, yep. right. You're always just the bed. Exactly, exactly. Yep. 
Ambrose Chamber Pot says to me many years ago, I go to a laundromat close to me. Oh my God, Brenda. Oh, yikes. I don't like to hear that. No. We luckily, we have an elevator that takes us to the laundry room. But uh, I mean, honestly, I take the stairs sometimes. Yeah, Carlo uh, had me take the stairs. Because it's exercise. Yeah. I use it. It's not, they're not steep though. You know, they're just regular stairs. We've showed you the stairs in our apartment. Yeah, Because we we've down. live streamed and we've gone down the stairs. Yeah. Wow. That gust. Yeah. Hey, look at that head sticker on there. Look, we're at um, dead head sticker on a Cadillac. Yeah, and a Ford Ranger. Doesn't have the same zip to it. You know, the, the line. Yeah, yeah, no, no, you know, Don Henley. Exit 6. So we got to exit 11 for Brenda. Yeah, and we're getting off 14, I think. Or 15. A, I think. Yeah. Daryl Jennix checking in from Chicago. Thanks, hey, Daryl. Landed a deep dish pizza. Oh, there's a horse. There's a couple of horses. Oh, you couldn't see them. Sorry, guys. There was a couple of horses there. Oh, Rob is from a whole checking in from Connaught, Ohio. Hi, Rob. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Rob. Us. How you been? Remember, Rob was... Uh getting ready for a sporting event. Go to farm. Oh, that looks like a nice farm. Look at that big farm. Green Acres is the place to be. Yeah, that's a pretty farm. Farm living is the life for me. Jack Raff says, James, don't worry, we'll get your triglycerides down. Mandelbaum, that is a, that is a fact. That is not even a, that's not a, uh, that's not a, an opinion. That is a fact. It's not even, it's oh, wow. in stone. Look at that big dark cloud, James. That's I'm getting it. a little nervous with this big dark cloud, guys. Uh, hey, you know, we'll make do. Ronald Col Colbert saying, wow, you've been making great time on this trip. Yeah, we're, we've been, Knock we're, wood. we've been blessed so far. Touch wood. Do you, New York City's pizza uh, sell do you, the grocery stores sell deep dish pizza? I would not know because I do not buy frozen pizza. I either right. buy no, fresh but the pizza. No, like Trader Joe's have like in the. I, 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 I wouldn't know. No. I, don't, I don't look in that section. No. You, you, I honestly you get don't. get your pizza from a pizza pie. I get, a, I get, I would, ne no self-respecting New Yorker would, would eat frozen Free pizza. Pre-made pizza. Pizza's made in an oven. Right. That's a cloud in the original Ghostbusters. JT here is saying, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Army training, sir. Yes, the East Village is in Manhattan, Ivan. Here we are. Car lanes, guys. Okay, exit seven. Yeah. Born Trent. in town, Trenton. Yep. Yeah. MG Mustang says it's been raining in mid-Michigan for two days now. Cold and high wind. Wow. Oh, God. Michigan looks like a... Yeah. Mid Robert Parker says, take a peek and look at the, the little blue. Yeah, there is a little blue area. Yeah, there so is. So that, that's, 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 your, that's your ray of sunshine right there. Yep. Yeah. Remember we spent a... Uh, uh, we hung out in Trenton with a while for the graffiti artists. Yes. Got to know Trenton, right? You betcha. Zachary Fontaine, we are in New Jersey. Jack Rapsos, why do they even have places like Pizza Hut in New York? Um, yeah, I, God. Well, I don't, I don't know about Pizza Huts. In, I think in, it's the college kids. In New York City, they definitely have... Um, Domino's. They definitely have Domino's, and I think they have like Little Caesars. Papa you know, it's, it's and Papa John's. Those I think chains. It's the college kids. No, that those chains. They want a taste of home. No, I think the chains exist because they can, and they want to drive um, their brand recognition and drive the small mom and pop shops out of business. That's yeah. what I think. But I think it's mainly college kids. No, but I think it's I think it's the bureaucratic, unfortunate yeah. system that they, um, you know, favor yeah. them for real yeah. estate. I mean, you have the best pizza parlors in the world. 
Vincent Padula said you would hurt Hudson's ears if you gave him frozen pizza. Oh. And would, his tummy. You know, he would throw it at you. And his tummy. You bastard. Ross White says, I'll never understand why any New Yorker would buy prepared food from Wegmans on the Lower East Side. That, that there's no way that food compared to the incredible takeout of New York City. Ross White, I, I, James and I have not stepped foot into Wegmans since it opened. No, there's plenty. You know, like, I'd rather go to B&H. People said to us, oh, Warren, you're going to live stream the opening of uh, Wegmans? And I said, no. Why would I be interested yeah, in that? We support B&H Dairy. We support mom and pop businesses, small businesses. I'm not going to get excited. Ahsoka. I'm not going to get excited when a grocery store chain opens a, opens in New York City. I mean, yeah, the chain might have started from a single store. That's true. And nothing against them. And I have nothing against them. But, but I'm, not, go, I'm not going to get excited go about out of it. Our way to help them. Right, and I'm not going to do a whole special live stream about their opening. No. Um, yeah, maybe we would have gotten a lot of views, but that's not what our channel upside is about. Upside pizza. You can go upside. Right. But that's not what our channel right. is about. Our right channel, around the corner is Cozy Soup and Burger. Right. Our channel isn't about, you know, like highlighting what might be trendy. Yep. Got McSorley's right around the corner. Yeah. So I, I, I agree with you. Get your liver worse than onion. You know, we don't have a favorite pizza chain because we don't buy chain store pizza. You know, but that's because we don't have to because we live in New York City and there's plenty of independently owned pizzerias. Like, I understand when you live someplace else. And Even that's, in Florida, though, we found good home that's pizza. Your, yeah, well, that, that's what I'm saying. There's plenty of independent pizza shops in, in South Florida as well. We, we don't need to go to a chain place. And uh, I wouldn't. There's, there's no way I would. I mean, I'd rather go hungry than eat at a chain store pizza place in New York City. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll have, a, I'll, I'll have a tuna Jewish rye from Moishas. Yeah. Jason Lamar says that we should all support mom and pop places. Well, that's what we try to do. I mean, I'm not saying that that's all I shop in. I'm not saying I never go to a grocery store. I definitely do. But I, I do, we do our fair share. Kathleen Kelly's asking, have you been to Saba's Pizza? I'm not familiar with that name. No, where is that? If you can tell us where it is, is you mean Sabaros? That the, the, the Sabaros, the chain? No. No. But if, if it's S A B A S, I don't I don't know that one. If you could let Sabas. us know, um perhaps we'll visit it. Sabas. Huh. It sounds vaguely familiar. But I don't think Kathleen Kelly is in New York City though, so. Gotcha. Oh, Daza T's are just home from attending the London Coffee Festival. Oh, oh nice. that hey, sounds talk nice. Daza T, extra good. But first coffee. And thanks for putting up um, some Hudson emojis. Daza T, I know, um, just recently became a YouTube member. Thank you for joining our membership program. And uh, now gaining access to the Hudson custom emojis. Excellent. Excellent job. Right, James? Yeah, fantastic. Exit 7. 7A. Marie saying good evening from Norway. Are you excited to get back to New York City? We sure are. Yep, for sure. We love it. Excited to be uh, on our way back. Oh, wow, like the whole field of cherry blossoms over there. Wow, like a farm, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see it. White ones though. There was pink also. Nice. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's all. See, classic. it's a tree farm, evergreen farm. Look at that, yeah. guys. Look at the vines. Oh man. Wow, those are pretty. See the pink or smaller. Yeah. Nice. That was cool. Seeing a tree farm, I like that. Yeah. Stephen Castro says, "Where are we now? We are on." The New Jersey Turnpike by exit 7A, uh, which is the exit to get to Trenton and Shore Point. So, Tiger Lily 2013 says, where are we? Hey, I Tiger just, Lily. We're on the New Jersey Turnpike. We're almost getting closer now to New York. Jason Morris says, Saba's Pizza's on Lexington Avenue. Oh. See, I knew I heard of him. I knew, I, I, 
we've crossed paths with Sabas. I know we have. You know where it is? Where we got off that day? Oh, Ross White's excited because I missed your New York City live streams. Catching a rocket launch. Oh. Oh, so there's two locations. One's on 1217 Lexington Avenue. Oh, that's all the way uptown. And the other's on 403 Amsterdam Avenue. No, we saw so, them in Lexington when we went to Gracie Mansion. Um, yeah, so is it like a, is it, um, is it a mom and pop place that has two locations or is it a chain that, that has now opened in New York City? No, I think it's a mom and pop one. If it's if it's not a ch uh, chain pizza, we will gladly um, support it and visit it. You know Hudson; he's always down to to try a pizza. That's for sure. Right, James? Oh, for sure. Oh hell yeah! What success? I'm gonna look it up. Mr. It's not a chain. Oh, extra good. Kathleen Kelly says it's so good. Then we're definitely going to be able to visit. Thank you for the recommendation. You know, Kathleen, would you mind um, if you went when you can? You don't have to do it right now, obviously, because you can't. When, when we finish our live stream, if you could rec remember to leave a comment under this video yeah. recommending that we visit Saba's Pizza. Um, that will help me because I always read the comments later on and then I don't have to in case I forget the name of it but that that is so awesome thank you so much we um, we would definitely 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 check it out now do you have a recommendation of the Saba's pizza uh, of what what one you liked what pie yeah Mr. Loverman, Shaba. Oh, I'm reading about it. It's a kosher pizza. Wow. Nice. That's really cool. Thanks. Kathleen Kelly says, honestly, I'm so boring. I just like the plain slice. Hey, you know, Kathleen, no. that's not boring. No. Uh, I used to get pizza. You gotta get the plain we slice. We always, always you have to. get a plain slice. You have to. Because you have to. that is the classic standard. Now, you might also want to get, like, one of their specialty slices. You think? Remember, they always do right here. <laughs> they always uh, skibble around. Yeah, Roz White also checks tests the caliber of a pizza by its plain slice. Yeah, that's that's what we do. We we want to be fair and say if they can make a good plain slice, then maybe some of their specialties are yeah. as good as well. But yeah. you know the plain then slice. Get, then you can get cute. Afterwards. Is your bread and butter? Yeah, that that has to be solid. Right, because on their specialty slices, they might use better cheese. Right, they can, Higher hide, grade they can cheese. hide a lot too. There's nowhere to hide on a plain slice. Right, but they might use lower grade cheese on a regular plain slice. So sometimes right. some some pizzerias do that. In all honesty, they have different cheeses for right. the different pizzas. It's you know what it's like. It's like a um, uh, we get the burger. It, it comes with a pickle. No, it's so it's just like when I get a burger, I don't want I don't I want to judge a burger without exactly. the cheese on it. Exactly. When you put a saying. slice of cheese on it. You know, no. like when when we went to the when we went with Nick G to La Tub to La Tub, I ordered mine without even though picture wise it looks better when there's a slab of cheese on it. Right. I ordered mine without because I really wanted to test the burger, and uh, I told you I told you right away that I thought my my burger was overdone and dry because it wasn't it didn't have a slice of cheese on it right. making it more juicy. Exactly. They, they had overcooked my burger. I asked for it medium, and it was cooked through um, well, well done. It was cooked through and through, and that's fine if you wanted it that way. You wanted way. it with a blush of pink. But I didn't order it. I ordered it medium.
Oh, I hope we didn't lose our little chat. I think we might have, guys. I had to go back. I had to go to, to Carla two phones. I think um, we might have lost our chat in the last, um, you know, the internet no go zone. Well, he didn't say please. He said extra cheese pizza. Yeah. But I say please. Let's add a, add a please. But all those there. embellishments. Yeah. So hold on, guys. I got to get the other chat back up. If you have a great hamburger, like let's say I love Hector's. Right. It was in our Fox 5 News thing. Exactly. Hector's. You don't even need ketchup, for God's sake. Right. I do put a little ketchup. Right. But you don't even need it. Right. You could just eat the bun and the plain hamburger. Right. And it's fantastic. Exactly. And you're halfway through before you even miss ketchup. You don't even know, oh, wow, I forgot to put ketchup. Right. This thing's amazing. Pickles, that's fine. Pickles should do its job and get out of the way. Tomato, right. lettuce, all that stuff is secondary. Right. Precisely. I've had one hamburger this year, right? Or did I have any before we left? No, you had in December when we went to Junior's. That's then, it, though. Then you didn't have any until, until the top. Until the top. Right. Now, this is coming from someone who used to eat like three a day. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. So, you you guys can hear me, but the, that was it. Uh, so, let's see. Joe Maliga said La Tub, which, which, which you like a side of bumper with that. Yeah, a side of bumper. Yeah. Would you like a side of bumper with that? Yeah. You got Joe Maliga. <laughs> hey, you know, you get a little body work oh, while you're eating. Oh, God, Joe. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's in La Tub. Yeah. It was. Joe Hernandez, 1210, uh, says New York City hasn't been the same without the Pizza King Hudson. Oh. Yeah, he's strutting about tonight. And Roz White also agrees, try a plain burger on a first visit. Yeah. Christopher Daly says, if you're ever in Tallinn, Estonia, Try the burger place across from the pier. It's superb. Oh, we'd oh, love to love visit to go Estonia. To yeah, oh it. my god! Yeah, and we Estonia. had somebody from Croatia in our chat yeah, well, last we night, and we, we'd love to go visit Split. M7. Uh, right now we're in um, New Jersey. We're on the New Jersey Turnpike, and we're driving north to go to Manhattan, New York City, East Village, to be specific. Jennifer Reese just tried Wahlburgers the other day with near Fenway Park in Boston, and I loved it. Oh yeah, it. I've been over there near that area. Jack Rev says first test the test the fold, then the olive oil in the crease, then a smattering of black on the crust. Nice. Oh, you're making me hungry now. Roz White says also it's, it's, it's see if they cook a, a burger on an open flame. Yes, yes. Oh, Jason Morris loves Hector's burgers. Yes, Hector's um, is one of our favorites in New yeah, York Jason. City. Yeah, it's, it's a perfect experience. Yeah. Quick service, bordering on terse. Stephen Casto says at the tub, would you like your car modified? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, some, uh, you know, bolt-ons. It's a special combo, as in boy saying. <laughs> oh, my God. The burger and bumper. Oh, my God. We're having a special today on body work. Yeah. And a side of nail polish, as in boy saying. Yeah, yeah. the black nail polish the on black, our black the, car. The, the bathtub caulk. Oh, my God. Oh Great bathtub caulk included. Well, look at that. The guy's not moving over. Christopher Daly for says the state there. there was an Italian pizzeria across the street from my high school, Evander Childs, um, uh, Evander Childs, and the lads knew how to make a classic American cheeseburger. Oh, extra good. Nice, cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. Beach Bum is now changing your time to six to to, to six fifteen. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll see. Guys, we've we've uh, you know. M7 said I had a Whopper from Burger King the other day and it turned my stomach. Shame on me, LOL. Yeah, no. no, no, we understand. Sometimes you know, like you're in a you're the you're, best thing you can you're, get. In, you're in a, a place where there's no other options, and, and you're and, and you just get the starving. plain hamburger, right? Bondo sauce, Jack Rab. Would you like a side of Bondo sauce? Oh yeah, the special Bondo sauce. Oh no, that's the Bondo <laughs> sauce, guys. 
<laughs> Check. Oh my god. Bondo, remember that? Pick yeah, that and up. then the the owners of the place um, ended up putting us in contact with the person that, who Marcus. hit the car, and their insurance. The guy offered us fourteen hundred dollars cash to do it without alerting our his insurance agent, and we had gotten an estimate that it would cost anywhere between twenty eight hundred dollars and forty five hundred dollars. And so we turned him down for his cash offer and we said, no, we don't want the cash. We want the car fixed. Give, our, give us your insurance information. And we did go through the guy's insurance and um, they repaired it. And it, and it cost um, it cost almost $5,000. Yeah. So. Um, it's those daytime running lights. You know, the owner of La Tub, in, in all fairness, at least um, did put us in touch with the. Facilitated with the, it. And and helped us get oh, our car, really car repaired. I mean, right, it's still unforgivable what happened. But I mean, I have to say, in all honesty, you know, he did. He wasn't there when it happened. He made the work. He he did the best he could in a terrible situation. Yeah. Wouldn't you say yeah. he did the best he could well, to what, you know, to remedy what happened? I mean, what like, kind of place is being run there? That's well, a whole other thing. I, I'm saying, but like, he yeah. wasn't there that day, so we can't. You know, it's not his fault. But yeah. that contractor that was working for him, you know. Right. Yeah. I don't so think. You I don't think. Ask, and the car attendant. Right. The, the car attendant. Maybe every, a waiter. Everyone that, who was in on it. We yeah. don't really know the the extent right. to it. But at the very least, the car attendant was in on it, because there's no way he couldn't, you know, notice all that going on, the the repair. Yeah, Vincent Padula says that people don't want to use their insurance because then it will be then it will go up. It will or be they'll raised. drop you. Yeah. Let's see if the chat came back on. Yep. Oh, cool. The chat came back on our um, on our phone, so I'm able to read it. The Neil Diamond musical. The Neil Diamond musical. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, a beautiful noise. Just like they have a Michael Jackson one. I guess that's like yeah. the thing now to like have yeah, a musical about. Right. Right. A, mu a musical about a musician. Look, pools and spas. That's like, um, you know, a Madonna movie. Uh, yeah, Spa King of New Jersey. Spa King. Desperately Seeking Susan. <laughs> Gary's Oasis. No, muchachos, no. Acid Boy is laughing. The food came out slower for more fixing time. You know, yeah. fixing in, yeah. um, you know, quotation marks. Oh, we missed exit 11? No. 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 Did we? No. Brenda, did we? We did? No. I thought we were just at seven. We're just seven. No, we're, uh, let's see, we're by Canon. They're going to give us some cameras. They're going to sponsor us. <laughs> You know, the way they went about it, hiding the thing was not the right thing. No. Exactly. It wasn't kosher. So you gotta wonder, you know? Nick G says, do you drive without nav? Yes, we do. We don't, we don't Well, use, it's only one road, really. It's only one road. I mean, and you know, we're, 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 um. We're by the Joyce Kilmer, uh, Brenda. Did we admit we didn't miss it? But I honestly don't know. You know, I, I Brenda, I, I'm reading the chat messages most of the time, so I'm not paying that much attention. Yeah, Carla to the, put it all on me. To so. the exit numbers, I apologize Anything if I happened. if I missed it. And James is paying attention to the road, so if we, we could did, be up by Montreal. If right we now. did miss exit 11, we we sincerely apologize. Um, you know, our heart is in the right place. I don't think we missed it. All I know is that we're at mile 77, whatever that means. Yeah. Oh, he's flying. Nick G relies on the nav as it shows traffic and reroutes. Well, that's true. Yes. You know, we're always late adopters. Well, I, 
I'll just use I'll, when we get to an area where we think there's going to be problems. We'll use the we'll use on our secondary phone the Waze app. You know, to be fair, we will use that. Yeah, we will. Brenda said it's okay. Brenda, I mean, I honestly, I I, I didn't see. I, I kept on saying, oh, exit seven. And then I don't remember anything past saying exit seven. Don't you remember me saying seven? Yeah, seven. I thought we had them forever. Because we're getting off like 14 or 15, which no, is four, a while. No, 14A, I thought. Yeah, it's a while. This is the Joyce Kilmer service area. I mean, Brenda would know. Um, Brenda would know. <laughs> she lives here. Right. <laughs> Nobody in the chat reminded us, or were we buffering then? Ross White's been a Canon user for many years. Just the other day, I visited BAH on we your are. recommendation oh, and nice. I bought a Fujifilm X-T5 with a 2880 lens. I'm loving it. I can't recommend B&H enough. Nice. Yeah, it's a great camera store. Yeah, that's a I'm glad you went there. And I'm cameras. glad you supported them. Thank you for that, Ross. Dennis says, nothing like sleeping in your own bed tonight. Exactly. Oh, you bet. Jennifer Jones says, where are you guys going? We're on, we're on our way back to New York City, to Manhattan. New York City. New York City, boy. Go ahead and bite the big apple. You know what Vincent said? I'm on my own navigation system. Yeah. Yeah. James uses a Jennifer sundial. Jones says I'm brand new to your channel. Where are you headed? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. We're we're uh, we're in New Jersey on the New Jersey Turnpike, and we're traveling. We just north. drove from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Yeah, we left yesterday from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We're in a rental car, and we're driving to New York City, to Manhattan, to be where specific. Are we, our apartment. Christopher uh, Daly says I don't remember. Sure, if you remember me from my days in Bergen, Norway. Oh, nice. We do. Yeah, Michael Gregoire said, will you take exit 14? Yes. I think that's what the exit is. 14A, I think it yeah. is for the um, Holland Tunnel. Or 14C, one of those. A, B, C. I know they have A, B, Cs. I don't remember which one it is. Do you? No. I have a friend who buys all the stuff at B&H. Yeah, we've supported both B&H Photo and Adorama over the years. No, B&H, um, Nick G, it's not that b &H. It's b &H Photo. It's a photo place that we're talking about. Yeah, not b not, Dairy. Not the Dairy Luncheonette. <laughs> See, what, they have no, we're only at exit 9. Yeah, Brenda, Brenda, we are only at exit 9. We I, did I, not I, pass exit 11. No. Brenda, you are not watching the, the, the live stream <laughs> properly. <laughs> How many different live streams are you watching right now? Because I they know... They look the same. I know that you're not watching ours. Uh, uh, with no, Carlos is kidding. I'm, I'm kidding you. I know you're at work, and you probably uh, you probably had to go away from the, from the chat for a little while. Brenda, we didn't pass your exit. Don't you worry. I knew it. Look, Manischewitz. Soup with chutzpah. Oh my god, that's so funny. Look at the font, too. Yeah. Soup with chutzpah. No, Jennifer Jones, it's not dangerous to drive in New York City. It's just that, um, it's more like, it's, it's... Just go it, slow. It, I don't think it's a driver you're, it's dangerous. More likely, as a pedestrian, it's more dangerous. Sure. But driving, you just gotta go slow. Yeah. Watch what you're doing. We're at exit nine, Brenda. Yeah, uh, Ros White says your new subscribers are in a treat uh, through the Holland Tunnel. Yeah, we love the Holland Tunnel and the views that we can see. You know, we might not even hit any traffic. Who knows? No, don't say that. We'll hit traffic. Well, Jennifer, don't worry about driving. You don't need a car in New York City, though. The only reason we have a car is we're renting it. We're giving it back as soon as we get get back our or put our stuff in our apartment. Is um. It's just to get from Florida to New York. But if you're visiting New York City, you don't need to drive. It's it's more of a pro problem having a car because it's difficult and expensive to find parking. You know, difficult to find on-street parking and it's expensive to park your car in a garage. So you honestly don't need it. You can uh, use uh, public transportation or if you don't feel comfortable with that, 
you know, if you're not feeling comfortable taking the subway or bus or anything like that, you can just uh, use an Uber or a cab. I mean, in all honesty, it's very easy to get um, cab or Uber in New York City. Uber, Oprah. You know, we don't, we don't do, I mean, James Whoa. and I generally don't ride in a cab or Uber. Um, we take the subway, but, um, you know, because we have a dog too. We like to walk. Uh, that's what we do mostly. Brendan Nelson's forgot that there's so many miles between the exits. Yeah, they're huge. Brenda, we felt confident with that we didn't miss it, and I felt so badly, but um, oh, we got it. We got it. See, we're on the ball. Well, Jennifer Jones, we used to keep a car in New York City, but we don't anymore because on-street parking, you know, like years ago, it was a lot easier to find on-street parking, but now they've taken most of it away, and it's a kind of a big hassle um, anyway. Is there a Subaru ahead of us? Um, yes. Forrester, I believe. Yes. Forrester in front of us. And then on the right lane, I think that's also a Subaru. Right? Yeah, there's a Subaru on both both the right lane and yeah. the, in front of us. Jason Mars agrees that New York City has a uh, great transportation. Hey, look, a horse trailer. Oh, Double C Bar Ranch. Oh, very cool. Guys, if you missed it, we saw a real horse race. And we were inches away from the horses. It was like the closest we've ever been to, to the horses. Yeah, they go fast. And it was amazing to see. Jack Rapp says, New Jersey's the only place that has speed bumps on the highway. Yeah, they're uh, right in the middle there. They're right in the middle of the highway. Or is that not a good time? Right? That's good. Hold on, James. Thank you. Got it. Here we come. Exit 11. 10. 10. Cars represent anxiety to me, Ambrose Chamber Putt. Yeah, you know, like, I mean, it can be, it can be um, anxiety uh, inducing to drive in New York City because, you know, there can be a lot of traffic at times and, you know, cabs, you know, pull in and out and do what they want. Yeah, they hip hop and they bebop. Oh, Nick G is asking, how is the power on this car? Mm, you know, okay. It's okay. You know, it's only a four-cylinder engine. It's okay. It's okay. You know, not the, the car overall is is a decent car. Just um, just like uh, I guess like you said, this seat does not. This passenger side seat has no lumbar support, so it's a, it's not that comfortable for a really long drive. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't even notice if you were only in the car for a short yeah, time. Yeah, running errands and stuff. Sure. Right for your everyday vehicle. But I mean, you know, I'm, I'm fine. 12 hours a day in a car is an extraordinary amount of time, you know? Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. Christopher Daly says you should try driving in Jamaica. They drive like daredevils. You mean the, the Jamaica the island? Yeah. Or Jamaica Queens? Because <laughs> we have driven in Jamaica Queens. Yeah. Or Walter Fletcher Beach out in Kingston. Jennifer Jones says, should I get a rental car if I go to New York City? I live in the Midwest. No. It's a long trip. Jennifer Jones, if you're planning, if you're not planning to fly to New York City, then you can drive, you can rent your, a car in the Midwest to return. drive to New York City and then just get rid of it. Just, and then rent another one to Then rent back. another one to drive back. You don't need a car in New York. You don't need a car it's while you're... It's going to be more of a hassle. Right. You don't want a car in New York City. You'll get tickets. I mean, uh, no. I mean, the parking alone can cost like $100 a day. 
I yeah. mean, it's really expensive. It's crazy. Depending on where you park. We abandoned our car. Yeah, parking is so expensive. I liked having a car in the city, but you can't anywhere. Roxy T says, what's the first New York City eatery you'll hit? You know, people were asking that, what are we going to have tonight? And we're going to figure it out. You know, we were thinking that we might visit our um, our Vaselka. friends at Veselka, which is the Ukrainian comfort diner. Nice We've live streamed night. from it before. You, if you if you type, type in Veselka, which is V-E-S-E-L-K-A, right, Veselka, NYC, James and Carla, it will come up on the search because we've live streamed the meals at Veselka and it's been in business since 1954 and it's a family owned uh, Ukrainian soul food diner and it's now run by the Exit 11 coming up. third generation owner. Exit 11 coming up. Oh my god, Exit 11 is Here's coming the up. Overpass. Brenda. Where, are you on the overpass? Brenda, where are you? Are you going to be flinging pizza? Brenda, one mile. You got to fling Hudson some pizza. One mile until exit 11. Brenda, are they giving you permission to leave the copy shop? You better leave now. Here we come. We're not at exit 11 yet. Oh, it's 14C is the Holland Tunnel. Yeah, I knew it was 14 something. Alex Burrell says, James, you must be shattered. First thing Hudson wants when he gets home is a slice of New York City pizza. Well, that's true, Greg B. That's why pizza is also a possibility. Brenda said, I'm here. One quarter mile. Here it comes. Here it comes. Brenda. I see Brenda running. Brenda, there's the toll plaza. I see Brenda running across the grass. Brenda, you, is that you? Three pizza boxes. Is that you? I see number 900 over there. Yeah, the pizza boxes are flailing around. Hey, Brenda! Waving to Brenda. Woo! 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 Exit 11. Bye, Brenda. Have a good rest of the day. Get home safe. Roz White loves Veselka. I, I mail order from them when I'm home in New Jersey, but I dine in the restaurant when I'm in New York City. They're super nice and staff and incredible food. Oh. Nice. Always a good time. Michael Gregoire says, so should I fly to New York City and then just take an Uber? That's what I should do. Yeah, definitely. Or you, if you fly, you can take public transfer to get right. To get where you're going to. You know, Ron on location you. said, I heard some uh, Vasilka serve some great goose neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks for that. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Goose neck and uh, hot, what was that other stuff? Oh, Johnny is already is laughing, saying, Yeah, you're going you're gonna to see the Bucky sign in New Jersey. Yeah, we saw it where it says turn around 561 miles. Oh, you passed, you saw it already? Yeah, we saw it. It had a turnaround. Oh. It said like a U turn sign in 561 miles. Oh, I must have been miles. chatting. I missed it. But first, coffee. Says Jennifer Jones, I just uh, I, I just said don't rent a car, you'll regret it. It's hard to park in the city. Parking garages are very expensive. That the, no, no, that's what it, but first coffee, I think what she meant is how she gets to New York City. I told her if she, if she needs to get from the Midwest to New York City and she's not going to fly or take a train, that she can rent a car to drive, but then just turn in the rental car like it hurts if you rent it from Hertz, turn it in at Hertz get rid of it because you're not going to need it when you're in the city. We, yeah, we, we, ex rent another we, one explain, we explained that to her. I hope she understood. Then you rent another one to drive home. Yeah, one. there are three different airports you could fly to, but when you take the, when you, if you fly in, do not, do not rent a car at the airport. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that that's just insanity. Just, to, just take, I mean, I would recommend in all honesty is, uh, is that Brenda? No. Is a nice option is is there's a there's a like a, a bus that you can take you know like a, a cheap bus if you don't mind going with other people I forget what it costs now but it's not expensive no like twelve dollars yep. if you and fly then they into have the train to the plane thing. right but that's that's a lot of moving around and stuff like that to be I mean, honest it hooks up with the subway I mean but if yeah if it's your first time here yeah I it mean it could be overwhelming right, right? I, I recommend the bus 
and then the bus will drop you off at different points in New York City, including uh, near Grand Central Terminal. Um, or sometimes it has places by where you'll be, a hotel that you'll be staying at. You know, like it depends on where you're staying at, what hotel, where you're going, and all sorts of stuff. But it's very reasonably priced, and there's buses from, the, from Newark. We're going to be passing uh, Newark Airport. In fact, there's a plane in the sky. That's, that's where it's um, heading from. Yeah. Do you know where you're going to? Do you know the things in life? Jennifer Jones, there's a lot of different options when you when you fly into New York City. There's three different airports. If you're interested and you're when you're ready to make the trip, just email us and we'll help you. Okay? We'll try to sort through it. We'll help you with some options. There's but some do definite... not rent a car. I repeat, do not rent a car. Yeah, everyone agrees with that. If it's your first time in New York City and taking a subway might be a little bit overwhelming to you, like a, like the train to the plane and all that kind of stuff, I, I, I would recommend taking one of the buses that they have. It's a coach bus. It's nice. It's air conditioned. Uh, you know, it's heated and they obviously... Yeah, it's not a city bus. It's not a city bus. It's a private coach. Right. That, but it's, it's right very off. inexpensive. It's like the, the last time we did it was like twelve dollars. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's very very nice. It's a nice easy way. I I mean, I recommended it to um, ease yourself into it. I even recommended it to um to our channel moderator. The subway can get here, you know. Who is flying from California? Stephanie, Stephanie Stearns. That she do that. The last time and I believe Guys, she did. Guys, we took the train home from Philadelphia once in taking the subway from uh, Port Authority to 14th Street took longer. Yeah. It took longer. Right. Than, than the whole train ride from Philadelphia into Port right. Authority. Yeah. There's the city. Oh my I God. I saw the skyline. Oh, the skyline. Okay, calm down, James. Calm down. <laughs> I saw it. You're scaring me. There it is. Oh my God, I see it. There's a, the World, World Trade oh, Center. World WTC. Trade Center. World Trade Center. Oh, oh. Guys, the oh, World oh. Trade Center, it's there. It's in the middle of the screen. There it is, guys. It's so beautiful. <laughs> we see it. We see the World Trade Center. OMG, OMG. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. No, no, Jennifer Jones, you're not going to get lost in New York City. Bum. Well, no, if you're in Manhattan, out. if you're in Manhattan, it's a grid. It's the easiest city in the world yeah, to navigate. And an officer will tell you where to go. Honestly, it's the easiest, will tell you where easiest to go. city in the world to navigate. You don't have, you're not going to get lost in New York City. It's virtually impossible. Start spreading the news. <laughs> oh God. Hey, Emmy. Hey, Emmy. Hey, Emmy like loves to so say New York State of Mind. <clears throat> oh my God, we're getting popped up. The Daily News. Exit 13, Linden. Cogen. The Cogen. If you um if you follow in the chat, our email comes up from time to time. Nightbot puts up our email address. You can always email us privately um, when you're ready if, to visit New York City to ask for recommendations. And we'll be totally um, honest. Um, as a lifelong New Yorker, I think I'm well qualified to give you um, advice on what best to do. Roxy T says, are you ready for summer? Oh, Nick G just put up our email address. Extra good. Are you ready? Good time. Oh my God. There's the, there's the bridge to Staten Island and you can still see <clears throat> the World Trade Center. Oh my oh, God. Nice We're getting gray excited, skies. guys. Guys. This gray is sky. Buildings. You know, it, it feels like New York when it's cloudy. <laughs> it <laughs> to does, us. right? It does. You know, 
know, we've actually had really great weather um, for the most part. Oh, driving. Florida was beautiful. You know, we had the Daytona, we had the tornado around oh, Daytona no, Beach. Yeah, but we just but took um, you know, we were fine. We didn't. We're get, not home yet. We didn't get caught in the tornado. Put it that way. We still got the uh, the Bayonne Bridge thing and the tunnel and everything well, else. I know that. I'm not counting my chickens before they hatch. No. And then said, this is really good time. Winding Road said, there's no place by, like home. Do, 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 do. Robert Parker said, um, whoever predicted that you'll be arrive home by five, will they receive a reward? It's whoever comes the closest to the actual time. We'll get a reward. That, um, that it's not when we return the car. We still owe. Because we're not gonna, we're not gonna hold you to that. We'll hold you to when we stop the live stream, which is basically when we're um, nearing our apartment to drop off all our belongings. We all still have people yeah, we will, we will, we will, we still, yeah, we still have uh, photographs to send. See, there's a plane taking off. Yeah, from, this uh, is the Newark airport. airport right here, um, Jennifer. If you're still watching. Oh, by the way, Jennifer, we hope you you hit the subscribe button. Yeah, just saying. Helps us out for all this, for all the all the it's helpful free. advice we're giving you. Yeah, that's our elevator pitch. <laughs> Jack Rapp's predicting a 5.07 arrival. Yeah, it could be 5.07. That sounds about right. Jack, you know, you're not too far off with that prediction. Yeah, that's if we had absolutely no traffic. That'd right. be fantastic. Five, another hour, yeah. It's a different type of hour, though. There's a lot to look Robert at. Robert Parker, I don't think we need any gas. We, we, we overfilled. We're going to be giving back the car with more than the gas than what we got. We overfilled. We, we filled it up. We probably didn't need to at the last gas station stop in Maryland. Yeah. So I'd rather have more than, uh, yeah. I'd rather have more. I know. There goes another plane out of Newark. So this is Newark Airport. Exit 13A. Oh my God, Dr. Ray Ray's 0512 just sent us $20. Welcome back home. Oh, Ooh, thank James you, Dr. And Carla. Ray Ray's. Oh. Woo! Fantastic Thank job. you, Dr. Ray Ray's. Extra, up. extra, extra good. Extra good. Thank you. Next stop, Pottersville. Next stop, Pottersville. Oh, my God. Guys. Mr. Pitts. Next I stop, think Potter. This, right isn't past this Olio. one of the earliest we're arriving? No, knock on wood. We no, no, look. I mean so far. So far. Yeah. Usually it's later, right? A couple of times it's been evening. Yeah, we got a long, long road ahead. Oh, I know that. Guys, there's um, Port of Newark. Um, the container terminal. My uh, my father uh, yep. worked there. We did some photography work for him. Yep. Oh, there it is down there. It's on the other side of Ikea. It's not the green one. Oh, yeah. It's that's That one. wasn't PC. Right, that was the other. Yeah, PC and PNC. Kathleen yeah. Kelly said 5.54 is my guess. Now they're getting down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, the seconds. The second hand. Now it's a game of inches. There's the airport. Yeah, so here's the airport. This um, this is uh, the Newark airport, which is actually a really convenient airport to fly in if you're flying into New York. I can't remember. And here's our exit, 14 to 14C, Newark Airport, Holland Tunnel. Ours is the Holland Tunnel exit, to be specific. Oh, you just got to take your time. Vincent Padula just sent us 1999. Welcome oh, home, guys. Vincent oh, Fantastic Thank job, you, Vincent. Vincent. Extra, We're extra here. good. Thank you. I don't even, where is Hudson? I'm not sure. He's, he's He hasn't woken up yet. He's, uh, wait till we put the window down and he smells the New York air. Oh, look at that spirit. It's wow. taking off. Holy crap. That's going straight up. Here comes Woo! another plane in. And, uh, yep, here's the uh, container terminal right here. Port of Newark. <laughs> Look at all the graffiti. You see the big cranes? Yeah. It's PNCT for Port Newark Container Terminal. PNCT for short. Yeah, well, wow, look at all the... Here um, comes the plane. The freight, freights, double-deckers. Oh my god, I'm getting excited. Yeah. Joe Maliga says, Welcome home, kids. Thanks, uh, Joe. 
Sheeta uh, Wu Sar says safe travels. Thank you. Jennifer Jones says yes, I subscribe. Can you help me get a cheap place to stay in New York that's safe? Sure. Jennifer, when when you're ready to come, uh, we can recommend. Uh, we can recommend. You have to just let us know what neighborhood you want to stay in and uh, what you're thinking of. You know, we'll kind of point you. In. We'll point you into safe area. We're oh, oh my god, get ready guys. Holy cow. Wowie kazowie. Here we go, we're just gonna do this. These little town blues. Look at that. Oh my god. And then always this exciting, just like I was 14. I feel like I'm 14 years old. Look at that, guys. I want to show you I'm, I'm not I'm not pointing a dead straight ahead I wanted to point more towards the skyline because I thought that would be more dramatic for you guys that's the advantage of a uh, of filming this on a gimbal instead of it's being uh, stuck onto the front windshield Winding Road says I'm in New York near Albany. Welcome back. Thank you for that. Winding Road. Very nice. Oh, New York baby. is in sight. You betcha. Oh, baby. Look at this. Oh my God, isn't that great? Holy cow. Look at that expanse. Guys, Look how cool that looks, right? Best city on earth, best place in the world. City. Exactly, Nick G. Yeah, that's it. Guys, going to be taking the tunnel. I'm going to, we're going to go back to the um, front view now, so you can see straight yeah, ahead. Yeah, now we'll be looking out the right. The city's <laughs> going to shift over to the right. Right. So that's why James is going to stay. I saw Lady Liberty in that shot. I don't know if anybody else did. Yeah. The city looks awesome. Jennifer Haight says, "I see the city." Roxy T says, I agree, uh, agree, best city on earth. Vincent Fadula is putting up Lady Liberty um, nice. emojis. Oh my God, guys. Just sent us five dollars. Give Hudson uh, a good slice of New York pizza for oh, me. Thanks, uh, Doctor Ray Ray's. Is that Lady Liberty out there to the right? I I think I want to stay this way, James, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, you got it. There it is. I see her. I see her towards that big tall building in Brooklyn. No, over there. 
So you're moving through? Yeah, I think I'll uh, do this right now. Guys, I'm going to try to get the uh, gimbal straight for you. And just all this uh, going on the incline, it gets uh, it gets tough a little bit. There's I'm just trying to show you the guys the best skyline view. If there was leaves on the trees, you wouldn't be able to see this nearly as well right now. Guys, we're going through with the easy pass. Just slow, you don't have to go too fast, no, James. No, Let them yeah. relish in the uh, oh my God. beautiful view here. Yeah, I'm trying to give you the best views. Like every which way we turn, I'm giving you uh, a new view. A new view. And you they're know, they're all spectacular. Yeah, they're it, they're real and they're spectacular. They're real and they're spectacular. I saw the Empire State Building peeking through. There's a good view of the World Trade Center right there. Hudson Yards, Empire State Building, ESB, Chrysler, uh, Vanderbilt. Oh, perfect. What a great welcome, guys. What a great, oh, great welcome. Guys, so you're, nice and slow, James. You're in the back seat with us. Look at that. Look at that. Look, you can see the Empire oh. State Building now, too. Oh, my God. Pop, 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 pop. Look at this. Look at this fabulous, fabulous view. Right here is where you can see all of it. Perfect. Hey, hey, can you put my window down? Sure. Guys, Hudson's here. Look who's look who's awoken. Hudson's out the windows, peeking his head out the window. Look at him. He knows he's home. He's like back to New York. Ah. Oh. Oh, Look at that, look at the Empire State Building. I know, it's not great. Watch out, sometimes you cut down the side of it. Isn't that great, guys? 
Look at the hood, sir. Magical. You can't get tired of this view. You just don't. Yeah, I said it feels like the first time I ever seen it. You just it. don't get tired of it. Look at and that. Your guys. eyes just keep darting around looking at everything. It all looks so spectacular. Picture you saw it was yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, don't you love it, you guys? Don't you just love it? Hudson's checking everything out. Marion oh, says, Oh, hi, Marion. Pop it in. Look at this. He's excited. Got his Vincent Padula pizza on? necklace on, pizza collar. No, he's he's uh, he's hardly out the window, so I can't. There's the World Trade Center. Yep. Yeah. Hey, thanks, MN, saying welcome home, E D and P. John David, everybody's popping in, saying howdy do, welcome home, feels great. There's the ESB right over here. Hudson just smelling the air. Jimmy. Yeah, he's loving it. Look at the ESB. I know. Hudson Yards. Home sweet home. The view is beautiful. Pizza will come, right Hudson? There's the Hudster. Look at him. Woo! He knows where he is. Just waiting patient, patiently for his pizza. Mom, I think this means pizza, New York pizza, finally. Finally, New York pizza. Yay. I go, Hudson, go. You're the home. The pizza king. The pizza king is back. The pizza king is back. I think we made it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think we made it. Gas, $3.39 for regular. Cash, but we don't need gas. Premium is $4.29. So, um, you know, we filled up already, so we, we don't need to fill up again. Because we didn't get a full tank. Everyone's saying welcome home. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. How's Hudson doing? He's doing okay? Hudson's doing great, guys. Here's Hudson. Waiting. Oh my god, guys. It's so exciting. Here we go into the tunnel, guys. See you on the other side. We'll be in Manhattan. Guys, we'll be in our last state. 
New York. And remember, we can live stream from the tunnel. Sometimes it can get spotty, but just stay yeah, I'm gonna with put us. The windows up. We're gonna put the windows up because it's like the air in the tunnel isn't, you know, the best for breathing. Or for even though it's here. recirculated, um, let's put the air. Let's put the the uh, windows yeah. back up. Yep. Yeah. Pothole. Here we go. since there's some traffic in the tunnel sometimes the internet can go in and out just refresh your feed we're in the tunnel guys we're doing our best we're halfway holland tunnel we haven't read we haven't crossed over into new york yet nope guys stay with us we're still technically in new jersey there'll be a sign on the side of the tunnel right tiles to tell you when you make the pass the border crossing. Holland Tunnel, guys. A marvel of engineering. A marvel of engineering. Yeah. We're in uh, S4. Yep. You know, there's different tubes to the tunnel. I always love going through this tunnel. Yeah. Everyone's saying welcome home. Board? It's a long tunnel, guys. It yeah. was one of the longest tunnels. Um, I mean, now there's longer in the world. Here we are. Up, here we go, guys. Here we go. Crossing from New Jersey into New York. We did it. Welcome to New York. Welcome to New York, guys. Welcome. Everybody in the chat, everybody who's going to watch this at a later Everyone date. Everyone that's ridden along the whole way. Right. We welcome you we to it. New York City. Now we got to get to the apartment. <laughs> whole different trip. Yeah, going through this tunnel, uh, honestly, it's always a thrill for me. I love it. I, I yeah. don't know why. I just do. No, it's great. It's just great. Well, you look at that. Heading uphill now.
tunnel guys. Yeah, it's cool, right guys? Yeah, it's honestly, it's hard to describe it, Vincent's right. It's a great feeling when you are, uh, you know, making a, a long uh, road trip like this and, and you arrive, you know, to this city to this to the to the just a beautiful city like New York one of the greatest in the world if not the greatest the greatest let's say everyone's saying welcome home guys thanks guys thanks guys look overnight tunnel closure to New Jersey to begin at 11 59 p.m. Wow. Ah, good to know guys in case you're going to plan on traveling and back just like that we're in Manhattan and just like that we are in the center, the, the center of the universe, right? We are um, in Lower Manhattan now. There is a gorgeous One World Trade Center. There it is. Yep. There it is. Welcome to New York City. Told Bill by mail. <laughs> They'll be sure. They're sure to tell you that. Yep. <laughs> no Every surprises. Every take in the make. No surprises there. See, getting out of the city's tough. Look at that. Look at that beauty. There's the Jenga building. Here's a police precinct right here. Yeah. Look at that old fourth precinct police station. Yeah. There's the Jenga building. Look at the water tower. Yeah. I keep on I keep on just showing you all the little different things that we love. Uh, there was a glimpse of the top of the Woolworth building. Yeah, you bet. No, we haven't arrived yet. What are we? We're not calling this the arrival time. We're calling it. Uh, we're 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 cutting it when we when we stop the live stream. Correct? Yeah, which is on uh, like First Avenue and Twelfth Street. Yeah. Daz T says I'm cheering you on from the bathtub, like the guy in the Truman nice. Show. Yeah. William Dronberger says I wish I was there. Guys, look at how beautiful this is. <laughs> Are you going to put the Hudster's window down, too? You bet. I'm going to put the Hudson's window down so he can look out the window. Hudson. If he so desires. That's good on mine. Ah, he's good. So if Hudson wants, he can give a, the air a sniff. Kirk says, what a city. Oh Annie Epps God. says, back in New York. Now, Jennifer, you can no longer change your time to the building not at this point. That's it. No more. No the more. bedding window is closed. Yeah. Oh, look, they're, they're uh, doing the gridlock here. They're blocking the box up here. Roz White says, I always feel homesick whenever I see these live streams. Oh. Uh, Alan Levy says, I just love when you arrive in New York City. Oh, thank you, yeah, it's Alan. That's fantastic. You had a milkman hat on. Yeah, I saw that. That was cool, like a vintage, like we're not going to get through here. No, I don't think we are going to get through because there's no. Even if you. Yeah, why is it so um, messed up? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would do like he's doing. Yep, like he's doing. Because, see, they're waiting to go to the... They're, they're trying to get out of the city, I think. Yeah. We're trying to get into the city. <laughs> Tesla doing it right. He had the right idea. Guys, we're going to be crossing um, Canal Street now. Uh, from the edge of, uh, you know, what would be called... Tribeca, we're the triangle below Canal Street. Uh, yep. Here we go. No, that's a the, across uh, Canal. So we have to go right there. Right up here. No, no, no. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yep. Canal Street. This is the Soho Grand Hotel, a very swanky hotel. Yep. 
we are now in Soho. Yeah. In case you're, um, you know, not familiar with New York neighborhoods, we are in the neighborhood of Soho now, and we are on West Broadway, uh. which is one of the main shopping streets. Now, this is a place um, that that a lot of you um, see. Everybody's might leaving have heard the of. city, right? A lot of people are leaving New York City, and uh, we're coming into New York City. So, traffic was in our favor today. I mean, we made great time. So far, so good. Yeah. Roz White said you were, you were like three hours ahead of a normal arrival time. That's what I said. We made exceptional time. Yeah, you just got to be patient. Now, if you don't follow us on Instagram, um, at James and Carla on Instagram, we, um, been, we highlight a lot of independently owned shops, stores, bars, and we recently put up this photo of a, a great bar, which is uh, the Room Street Bar over here since 1972. There's Cipriani downtown, a very uh, fancy restaurant. Yep, bougie. Reese, seven for all mankind. Right, this area of Soho um, used to be full of a lot of artist lofts, but um, it's become gentrified and it now has a lot of um, high-end shopping, you know, stores, you know, including a lot of designers. Doggos. Jesse O says, welcome home. Thank you, Jesse O. Alex Burrell said, well, I should be a New York City guide. <laughs> Thank you for that. We're crossing Prince Street, uh, which is uh, the uh, just down the block from where we were here on a uh, corner of West Broadway by Prince is a cover is a Vesuvio Bakery, a bakery we highly recommend. It's the cover of our storefront NYC book is our photo of it yep. um, back when it was an Italian bread bakery. Now it's a bakery that not only <laughs> sells delicious bread, but also um, also uh, delicious cakes and pastries. Let me show you sweet boy Hudson. Hudson, look. Hudson, you know where you are? Of course you do. Yeah, he's just psyched. Hmm. Yeah, it's quiet right now in the city. Yeah, well, Friday. Can't complain yeah, so for far, Friday so night? Wow. Well, it's 4.30. I mean, that's early. Yeah, that is early. Most people still at work. Wow, even the streets are not, like, um, they're pretty quiet. Like, I actually hear people's conversations and stuff. Yeah. Johnny Azaria says, welcome home. Thank Thanks, you, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> you don't know anything. <laughs> you heard that? Yeah. Watch out for this bus. Yep. Guys, now we're turning on to West Houston Street. We're still in Soho. Hey, look at that scooter they made. It's like a little table. Oh, that's cute. Now we're going up Houston Street. Oh, couldn't be better, guys. This is amazing. Thank you so much for watching and and just uh, hanging out in the back yeah. seat, riding along with us in Hudson. In Hudson. Now we're at Broadway. Exactly. Houston and Broadway. Got the food carts are pumping out hot dogs, the dirty water dogs as they call them. Jack Rab says, thanks for a great trip back home. Oh, thanks for hanging out, Jack. Yeah. 
Hudson. 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 Hudson, go look. Go check out your friends. Come on. Hudson's looking out the window. He's loving it. Oh, I think he might have. He got a call, uh, whiff of the hot dog cart. Yeah, he loves I that. I think you think he might have. Oh yes. Look at this, guys. Little Italy to our right. Yep. Now we're on the dividing line between yeah. the East Village, which is to the left, and Nolita to the right, which is the uh, north of Little Italy. Oh, baby. Hold this for a second. The Bowery? I'm going to give Hudson a treat. Guys, this is the Bowery. Houston in the Bowery. CBGB. Hudson. Debbie Harry. Keith Haven says I used to break down on Houston Street. Oh, actually, oh, yeah. good. Jimmy Castor Bunch had just begun. MG Mustang says, are there any Italians left in Little Italy? There sure are. Yes. And uh, we've, we've highlighted a bunch of Italian-owned businesses. Um, you can check out, our, check out our recorded videos on our live streams in Little Italy, including um, our, our favorite our favorite place that won our cannoli battle and also won our St. Joseph's pastry battle, which is Cafe Roma. Here's Yona. Guys, this is our favorite place to get knishes. So we're not going to be stopping now because there's no, no standing any time, but highly recommend the delicious knishes from Yona Schimmel Knish Bakery. Jesse O just sent us three fifty. Welcome home, pizza for Hudson. Thanks, Jesse O. I can't. Oh, that this is uh. First. Oh wait, I got the music, James. We got to put the window up for Hudson. Uh, just can you put it up so we don't have to? Uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, somebody has their window open and they're playing music pretty loudly. Uh, I can't see if you're gonna fit. Can you see if well, you're gonna he fit? Well, you can roll up a little. Yeah. If he rolls up, I think yeah. you can fit. Yeah. Uh, How are we doing? You good? Yeah, you got it. You got, you it, got it. You Thank got you. It. I don't know if it's triggered uh, that you're gonna make the left turn. Yeah, yeah. Right? You got it. Okay. Yeah, guys. I gotta wait for the arrow anyway. James but. has to wait for the arrow, but just up ahead is uh, is Russ, Russ and, and daughters. daughters, the infamous Russ and Daughters, delicious uh, bagel and lox. Yep. Family owned. This is the Lower East Side. This starts the Lower East Side now. First Avenue, guys. You know that. We're at First Avenue and East Houston Street. First and First, Kramer. Here we go. Up First Ave. Up First guys, Avenue. Guys, I really, really want to thank you for hanging out wow, with us. Where? And making the drive with us, it makes it so much fun, Guys, more fun. We're, we're in the East Village. We're going to be stopping the countdown of when we officially arrive near to our, almost to our door very shortly. And we will try to figure out, I'll have to rewatch all the live streams. But, um, you know, if you want to be honest as well, you can always email us or leave, no, better yet, leave a comment. Yes. Leave a comment on this video. Don't email us. Leave a comment on this video so I can make sure and and just be to be fair to everyone of who um, was the came the closest to guessing the, our direct our time of arrival. Check this out. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. That's not something you see that's, down in Florida. That's not something you see every day. <laughs> Calling the garbage with a little John Deere thing. Oh my uh, God. Look at how beautiful, huh? 
So it is now on our on my Apple Watch 438. So I'll be calling the time. I think it's going to be like what do you, what will we say? 12th Street. For at, and when we hit 12th Street is when we're going to we're going to say that's that's the official time of uh, arrival. Yeah. When we hit First Avenue at 12th Street because we'll be practically at our doorstep. So anyone who guessed um, 4.40 p.m. St. Mark's Place. Here's the infamous St. Mark's Place. Stromboli. There's Joseph. Yep. Say, oh, there he was. The owner of Stromboli was outside there. Yeah, having a cigarette. Wow, there was a line outside for that crispy burger place. Something Look, new, new opened. Look, over there. Wow, something new opened in our absence. Yeah, crispy burger. So, guys, it's uh, 4.39. So, like I said, whoever said 4.40, I mean, if you said 4.38, like, you know, this is it. Uh, we're at 12th Street and 1st Avenue. This and is it. it's 4.39 p.m. We made it. So, whoever guessed that, please leave a comment. Or, you know, if you if you guessed five, whatever you guessed, put it put the time that you guessed in the comments so I know who is the official winner. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, guys. I You're mean, huge. Thanks, thanks so much for the Super support. Chat, Super Stickers. We love you guys. Thanks for the making it. Support. We'll a, see you real soon. A super, super, super enjoyable okay. trip. Yeah. Super times. Bye, guys.